The Wolverine is the second standalone Wolverine action flick starring Hugh Jackman. This time James Mangold steps into the director's chair, thank goodness. Because this is a very acclaimed director, at the time in 2013 at least. He had done the 310 to Yuma remake, he had done Walk the Line, which is still to this very day my favorite musician biopic out there. So Wolvie, once again played by Hugh Jackman, is lured to a Japan that he hasn't seen since World War II, and he finds himself in a shadowy realm of Yakuza and Samurai. That aspect of the Wolverine is really freaking cool. The mythos that you get here and the overall aesthetic, the environment in Japan is absolutely breathtaking. And I think James Mangold captures that wonderfully. The cinematography in the Wolverine is beautiful. Ross Emery deserves a huge, huge round of applause for his work on this. But this is a lot grittier version of the Wolverine than you would get in X-Men Origins, for example. Because he's pushed to his physical and emotional brink when he's forced to be a fugitive, and he goes on the run with a powerful industrialist's daughter, and he's confronted for the first time with his mortality. And for a lot of people, the Wolverine, I feel like, is the equivalent of what Batman Begins would be for Batman. You have our hero going to a remote location, it's a very different type of origin story, and he's immersing himself in a world that you don't normally see represented in a comic book movie like this. Because I find the whole idea of including samurai in an X-Men movie, that's really interesting. And you get loads of brilliant character moments with Wolvie, and Hugh Jackman, once again, steals the motherfucking show in this. The guy is jacked out the gills, like, again, you can't deny this man's dedication to his craft. And his whole passion for entertainment and wanting to bring joy to audiences all across the globe, this man has to be commended. Hugh Jackman is a boss. And I love the deep dive into this character, because this is a very different Wolverine than you've come across in the previous X-Men movies up to this point. He's not quite to the level of exhaustion that you would get in 2017, but he's starting to get there. He's pretty beaten down overall, and he is doing his damnedest in these fight sequences, which I might add, great implementation of the samurai and yakuza mythos, and those fighting styles are incorporated really nicely. I would say that the action sequences overall are much better than X-Men Origins Wolverine, that's for sure. Because the thing is, there's no quick jump cuts, you can actually see everything just fine. James Mangold knows how to direct an action movie. The editing in this movie is much better, the musical score feels so much more epic than it did in Origins. And above all else, they got it right with the violence. For a PG-13 rating, the Wolverine is surprisingly violent. It's a pretty high compliment to compare this to like a Casino Royale, but that's another movie that I can think of that I've talked about in the past. That is also a PG-13 rating, and it's ultra-violent. I think The Wolverine is certainly up there with Casino Royale as a contender for the most violent PG-13 movie I've seen. And a movie I've never seen before, I was definitely very surprised by this one. It was a very welcome surprise. I definitely enjoyed the mythos and the lore that it digs into. Not just with the Japanese history and what have you, but with the character of Wolverine. The deep dive and the analysis that you get into the character. I was very appreciative of the darker tone that this movie took overall. But that actually gets me into my big issue with the Wolverine. Now... This is not necessarily a huge issue in the long run. This is just me looking for something to nitpick. I did say that the darker tone is certainly prevalent in this one, similar to a Batman Begins. But then it gets to around the last 20 to 30 minutes or so, and it definitely feels like they were upping the comedy and the comic book factor. Which shouldn't be too big of a problem because at its crux, this is a comic book movie, this is a Marvel property. The Wolverine is probably the most famous and recognizable X-Man that ever was. So there was bound to be some comedy in here. But when you put it up against the other two acts, which are so deeply entrenched in the emotional heaviness of what Wolverine is going through, he's having nightmares every single night, he can barely keep himself awake. I feel like in terms of the overall tonal consistency, the next movie which came out four years later would get that consistency down a lot better. But once you're introduced to this woman who's like a viperous sort of villain, not really that interesting of a character in the long run, it just feels like the movie takes a complete nosedive into something completely different than what it was trying to be. I feel like overall the third act did deviate a lot more from what the movie was trying to do as a big picture. But The Wolverine is still a very enjoyable movie. I love James Mangold's direction. I love the involvement of the samurai in an X-Men movie. And Hugh Jackman once again continues to prove why he is the only choice to play this character. And it makes me very, very happy that we have not seen the last of him as Logan. I'm going to give the Wolverine a B+.
For a first time watch, this was a very welcome surprise, guys. If you haven't seen this already, let me know what you thought of it down in the comment section below if you've watched it. Let me know if this is your favorite X-Men movie. What is your favorite X-Men movie if it isn't? Because I love what I do here, guys. I love discussing all new things in the cinematic world over here on the regular. If you've stumbled across this channel for the first time, do consider subscribing today. Tap on that thumbs up as well if you haven't already. And I'm very excited to say that the next entry in this Deadpool slash Wolverine playlist... We're coming across one of my personal favorite movies, guys. We're going to fast forward from here, three years forward, and we've come across the first Deadpool movie. And Deadpool at his rated R best. That should be a lot of fun, guys. Stay tuned for all that and much, much more. Y'all are the best. And with all that being said, Back Talk, commence. Yeah.